All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're taking a look at the map Anthracite, and this is by uh, Lahant and Bullet to Head 9. Now, this map is crazy. It's like a mining map uh, where they have like mines and stuff, and they're like pulling out coal out of the ground, and you know, like, I don't know. They're just, it's just such a cool map, and so we're gonna be checking this one out. Uh, so I would appreciate everyone if you do enjoy these type of walkthroughs and everything to look at all the details uh, that these forgers spend hours and hours and hours creating. Um, it's, if you do like these type of walkthroughs, uh, be sure to subscribe because this is what I really enjoy doing. I enjoy doing walkthroughs like this because these forgers put so much time into these maps. And a lot of small details that do get overlooked whenever you're playing on it normally. Uh, so I do want to go and hop in there and check out all these small details as well as it gives you inspiration. I uh, can give you ideas for your maps, you, you know, and everything that you are creating. Uh, I can give you ideas on how to create certain stuff or go for a certain type of aesthetic or anything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here. And again, this is called Anthracite. And then this, uh, this map, you can download it in the description down below if you do want to be able to play it and have fun with your friends. This is such a beautiful map. So let's go ahead and start walking in. Well, I guess we could turn around and look at all this. Now, look at the frozen waterfalls right here. Such a great idea uh, right there, having frozen waterfalls. And, and again, a beautiful uh, background aesthetic that they created here uh, with this bridge there just shows some depth as well as things like this train track coming into the cave there I wonder if that bridge kind of connects with the train tracks right there uh, but overall fantastic looking stuff and man look at this like we got uh, boards here that are going up onto the boxes see I like things like this it's not just a typical ramp a typical whatever like this is actually using the aesthetics uh, you know to make a traversal method on your map, which is fantastic I'm gonna try to stay out of the center entirely um, Until you know the end we'll try to walk around the outside currently right now. Uh, don't drop down there I'm guessing that is death uh, But yeah so far just the aesthetics just look absolutely beautiful. I love the boxes and everything like that Ooh, a little a little bumpy there um Look at this right here. We got a little box right there. We got grenades. We got more spots right here that people can jump up onto uh, to kind of get a height advantage on things. And look at this. Hop up here. Can you jump across over here? No, you can't. They blocked it off. I guess that's a smart move. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This looks absolutely beautiful. Love the smoke effects coming off of some spots, especially like the lights coming out right here. It's like since it's real cold outside, and you know the light it's hot inside uh the buildings possibly and that's what's providing like a little bit of like a uh like a smoky like if you breathe whenever it's real cold outside you have that that uh that fog type of stuff that comes out of your breath uh so yeah this is really great i love this so much like all this type of stuff is i, I love maps that are really focused on aesthetics and i love the fact that now in Infinite, we can have maps that really focus on aesthetics because the budget, you know, and everything is so huge. Uh, so we can do this type of stuff. And look at this. I don't think I, I don't know if I've really seen this before. Um, uh, you know, people use it like to be able to like uh, hold up rocks and stuff. Uh, you know, like hold back rocks from, uh, you know, falling onto the map and things like them putting like this type of wooden uh, braces and barricades. This is a really cool idea. And I love the aesthetic of it as well instead of just having a typical rock here they add a little extra layer to it which looks really good uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here looks like we're getting into the mine a little bit we got a uh, some boxes and things that we can hit and break fantastic i love things that can uh you know it can move around on maps that you know aren't stuck in one place what is this a creepy closet over here uh but yeah let's go ahead and let's jump over here and check out uh, the uh, the mine that they have it looks like over here. So yeah, I love that drop down It looks like you can jump up right here. Can you make it all the way up there? I don't think so, but hey this will at least provide a, you know a little extra spot to be able to come up right here and then jump up over here Look at this. We got mining stuff. We got a pickaxe. Awesome And then look at this over here. Wow. We got a broken mine cart over there. Fantastic looking stuff Yeah, that is great. That is that is super spooky over there uh, but man, look at this. Just everything, just everything about this. We got a, a broken minecart. It just dropped down uh, from the top there, flipped over. We got coal here. 
that they have been dumping out and we got sandbags holding up the the wall there uh, this is just overall amazing I, I i love the lighting in this room too um and you know you can also have different call outs like they're over in the mine or something like that so that's pretty great i noticed there's some jittering happening it might be my pc because i noticed whenever i you know got back in with their most recent update it all of a sudden made some of you know uh in the just the menu and stuff like that it was a little bit more jittery so i gotta probably look at that i may do the next recording on my xbox instead of my pc until they can figure that because i know they've been having some driver issues uh, with some things but yeah look at this this looks fantastic i love the little the little lake cabin over there uh with the frozen lake looking fantastic oh here we go we got another jump spot to be able to get over to this side awesome we got a, a little box of coal right here. I'm in the center and I said I wasn't going to get in the center. <laughs> this always happens where I'm just like walking around and I'm like, oops, I'm not supposed to be doing that. So nice little jump up spot right here to be able to get up on top. Uh, so you don't have to go in through the bottom doors. There's plenty of ways that people can hop into here, which is great. Uh, you want plenty of traversal methods on your map. You don't want people to be just stuck with one. Uh, so there is oh that's interesting that's like a little like a little curved door that bends and it blocks that that's that's an interesting uh, design for a door there really like that. I love the depth that they have like underneath the stairs there's more things that can be uh, like more pathways and more stuff like that so can't go through here almost can go through but my Spartan's a little bit too fat not able to make it through right there uh, this is the lonely person area where you know you could just sit in a chair right here by yourself very sad very sad uh but yeah this map looks so good i love the just changes of from the ceiling to the floor to the walls everything adding wires connecting white uh, whites uh connecting lights uh and stuff which is just great as well okay ooh, cool we got a little lantern here with it you know lighting up a different color light so this is kind of like more of a white light this is a little bit more of an orangish yellow very nice all right and it looks like we're back towards the beginning so let's go ahead and just start going into the center the first spot we're going to go into is this little coal i don't know a refiner i don't know burner it, it's just burning coal and you can go ahead and collect this and you can repulse people people into death in there which is pretty awesome as well uh look at this i love this under section over here we got an assault rifle down there fantastic just all this type of stuff looks so so good and i'm so happy people are so talented in the halo community uh so we can just continuously get incredible looking maps let's go ahead and jump over here I jump over that way that goes over into there we've been there before uh and this hops up here with more grenades very nice i love again all the traversal method methods you can go through different areas and just overall this is fantastic and look at this like see you can jump through here and then you could go ahead and jump up top uh up here to be able to grab the sniper instead of walking up each one of these little platforms to go through here uh, it's really nice and I, I just overall this is fantastic i love the design and the layout of this map so that will be it for this video if you did enjoy this be sure be sure to subscribe i do really like making these walkthrough type of videos i hope y'all like them because uh, i want to keep doing it. uh this is something i like looking at all the details and y'all can get my initial thoughts looking at a map and just the overall like uh, design of it, the aesthetics of it, just all the cool ideas that people you know come up with in the you know place in on the map like this right here. Was it necessary to put a broken box there? No, but it looks awesome. It just adds a little bit more to the map. I really enjoy it. So uh, thank you everyone for coming out. I appreciate it. This is such a cool map. Like there's just like a lot of like different things that make it like really awesome. Like for one, this right here. You can't necessarily get through here, but they have a view so people, you could see people running through there so you know where they're gonna be going. So, you know, it's just not a blocked off uh, building and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you again, everyone, for coming out. Appreciate it. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will see y'all in the next one. And remember, let's forge a new Halo.